Hi, this is Tim Cashel with the Evolve Academy, and today I'll be going over one of the features in the new Barco Event Master Release 4.1, and that feature is backgrounds as inputs. So let's take a look at what we've got going on here. I've got an S3, and in fact an S3 Junior, and the reason why I picked this box is because it is a limited resource box. It only has one VPU, so it only gives me two mixing layers. It has a limited number of inputs and a limited number of outputs. In fact, the SDI card is something I added because that's normally not part of an S3 Junior. As far as the destinations go, I've got a single house left screen set up at 1920-1080 with zero layers assigned. I've got a two screen blend set up at 3840 with two layers, the two layers available, assigned to it. And then another screen uh, set up 1920-1080 as a house right with zero layers. I also have two auxes created for downstage monitors. Uh, aux 1 and aux 2 have both been created as a dual link capacity uh, aux so that I have the ability to take my two screen blend and send it to the downstage monitor. And that's not a new feature, but I'll go over it again in case you've never realized that in the past. So the reason why we have backgrounds as inputs uh, allows you to not have to DA or bring a source in twice. In the previous version of the software, if something were an input, it couldn't be used as a background. And likewise, if something was a background, it couldn't be used as an input. Well, in this case, if you notice my input list, I have no inputs created whatsoever. Now, this takes a little bit of planning and knowing your show and the ability to control what resolution your inputs are coming in at. So in other words, all of my sources here, whether they be SDI or in this case, HDMI, are all coming in at 1920 by 1080 resolution. Now, it doesn't matter if they're I or P, as long as the resolution is the same. In my background tab, I have created all the inputs I'm going to need for the show. This way I can use them both as backgrounds on these native single screens, or I can use them as layers and pips on the blend. And here we go, let's take a look at that. So on my programming screen here, looking at uh, my house left and house right screens, over here in my input tab, there's a new button that says backgrounds. And that means I can take a background, I can drop it on a source or a, a source layer, right? Well, if that output has, or that destination has source layers assigned, then yes, you will be able to put it on a layer. But for instance, on this house left screen, there are no layers assigned, so I can't drop a background input onto that destination. How do I do that? Well, I go to the background tab and I drop the same source, but as a background onto that screen. And I do the same thing for house right. Okay, now on my center screen here, I'm gonna go ahead and drop my three to one background created off a of display port. And on that one, I'm going to take, let's say graphics one here, and I'm gonna drop it onto uh, one of my layers. Okay, now again, I'm trying to drop a background into a background layer, which it's gonna give me the big red flag. So where I actually would drop that source is going back to the input tab. Now I can use my backgrounds as inputs to go to graphics one and drop it into a layer. Okay, so did you notice there that if I wanna drop something into a layer, it has to be done from the input tab. If I wanna drop something into the background channel, it has to be dropped from the background tab. So here I go, I've got my pip in the center here. Let's, I can do everything I can, I can normally do, uh, like creating presets, and then I can go ahead and I can transition this now, if I wanted to change just the outside screens to camera two, uh, again, I'd have to go to the background tab, select camera two, and drop it into the background layer of the outside screens because I have no layers there. And then I can just transition to camera two. Now my pip in the center here, I can go ahead and I can take, let's say PowerPoint two, but do it from the input tab and I can drop it into a layer. Or I can drop any one of my other sources here into that layer, okay? All right, now the reason why I created these two auxes here as dual link is to have the ability to select a dual screen output such as my widescreen blend and send it to the downstage monitors for the presenters to view, okay? So if I do this and I send that to the program of the aux, there is my full two screen blend on the downstage monitor. Now, since my cameras and other resources are also available as backgrounds, uh, or excuse me, are backgrounds available as, as inputs, I can take them from the background list here and drag them into the monitors. 
Now, this is kind of a cool thing because in previous versions, all your backgrounds were not available on the oxes. So now, anything you have as backgrounds can be dragged to the oxes as long as you do it from the input tab. If you try to do it from the background tab, you're going to get a system message that says you can't drop backgrounds because there are no layers on oxes. But again, input, backgrounds, drag a source. Okay? So I hope that's a huge feature for you. I'm sure you're going to use it a lot uh, when you're using less resource boxes like E2, Juniors, and S3s. And I hope it's a very useful uh, tool for you. This is Tim Cashel with the Evolve Academy. Thanks for watching.